Module 3, Lesson 9, Objective. Multiply three and four digit numbers by one digit numbers, applying the standard algorithm. Say the vocabulary with me. Factor times factor equals product. Partial product, standard algorithm, place value. Let's multiply 162 times 6. First, we're going to represent this on our place value chart. 6 times 2 ones will give us 12 ones. Next, let's move to our tens column. 6 times 6 tens will give us 36 tens. And finally, we'll move to our hundreds column. 6 times 100 will give us six one hundreds. Remember, any time you have at least ten or more, you can group them together and move them up one place value. So we have twelve ones, so we group ten of them, and we move one ten over to our tens place. And then we have thirty-six tens, so we're going to group three groups of ten and we're going to move 3 over to our hundreds place. So now we have a total of 2 ones, and then we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tens, and then we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 hundreds. So our final product would be 972. Now let's solve this problem using our standard algorithm. So we start off in our ones place. 6 times 2 will give me a product of 12. So you put your 2 in your ones place and carry your 1 above your tens place. 6 times 6 will be 36 plus 1 will give us 37. So you put your 7 in your tens place and put your 3 above your hundreds place. 6 times 1 will give me a product of 6, plus 3 will give me 9. So our final product is 972. So first, let's uh, solve this problem using the partial products method. So we always start off in our 1's column. So 5 times 7 1's will give me a product of 35. Next, we move to our 10's column. 5 times 3 tens would give me a product of 150. And then we move to our hundreds column. So 5 times 2 in our hundreds column would give me a product of 1,000. So now that we have all three of our partial products, we now need to add these together to get our final product. So start in your ones, 5 plus nothing would be 5. Move to our tens, 3 plus 5 would give me 8. In our hundreds column, 1 plus nothing would be 1. In our thousands column, 1 plus nothing would be 1. Our final product is 1,185. Now let's solve the same problem using the standard algorithm. So here again, we start off in our ones. 7 times 5 will give me a product of 35. Put your 5 in your ones place, carry your three above your tens place. Next we move to our tens. So five times three tens would equal fifteen plus three, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So you put your eight in your tens place and you carry your one above your hundreds place. Next we move to our hundreds. Five times two ones would equal ten plus one would be eleven. Put your one in your hundreds column and your other one in your thousands column. Our final product is 1,185. Now let's look at a word problem. Nate measured 457 milliliters of water in a beaker. Skylar measured three times as much water. How much water did they measure all together? First, I'm going to set up a tape diagram to help us solve this problem. 
So Nate measured 457 milliliters of water in a beaker. So here's our 457 milliliters of water. And then I know that Skylar measured three times as much water. So we're going to have three times as much for Skylar. Here's one, two, and three times as much as Nate. Finally, let's look at the question. How much water did they measure all together? So now I need to take all of this and see how much of it they measured all together. So we know that we have 457 times 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to use the standard algorithm in order to solve this problem. First we start off in a ones place. 4 times 7 ones will give me a product of 28. So put our 8 in our ones place and carry our 2 above our tens. 4 times 5 ones plus 2 would equal 22. Put our 2 in our tens place and carry our 2 above our hundreds place. Finally, 4 times 4 would give me a product of 16 plus 2 would be 18. So put our 8 in our hundreds place and put our 1 in our thousands place. So I know that 457 times 4 will give me a product of 1,828. So they measured 1,828 milliliters of water altogether. Don't forget to always restate your question and label your answer.